from my point of view, as far as I'm concerned, diabetes is a consequence of choices. On, I mean, I've not heard anywhere that diabetes is hereditary. Sadly, Albert, while not all cases of diabetes have a direct hereditary component, research strongly supports the notion that genetics play a significant role in the development of certain types of diabetes. People with a family history of type 2 diabetes are more likely to develop the condition. Diabetes is not just a disease. It is a leading cause of blindness, kidney failure, heart attacks, stroke, and lower limb amputation. Veteran Nollywood actor John Ikechuku Okafo, better known as Mr. Ibu, was diagnosed with diabetes and kidney failure in 2022, and he had to undergo some life-saving surgery. Fast forward to 2023, barely two weeks ago, despite efforts to prevent it and generous donations from well-meaning Nigerians, one of his legs had to be amputated to save his life. Not everyone with diabetes will need an amputation. If a person with diabetes does need a procedure, it is likely to be due to a wound or ulcer on the foot or lower leg that did not heal. We spoke with individuals from different walks of life to hear their personal experiences with diabetes and how it has affected their lives or the lives of their loved ones. So I'm not diabetic. My husband got diagnosed in sometime in 2015, I think. And um, it's been a big struggle, to be honest. A struggle for him, a struggle for me as well. Um, because when your spouse is diabetic, you know, your lifestyle has to change for both of you to encourage your partner as well. And it has been really difficult. Um, so due to this uh, diagnosis, he all, his BP also took a leap, you know, and he's been managing his blood pressure since then. So the challenge, of course, was, you know, getting him to eat uh, diabetic friendly foods. And I tried to change everything in the house, change our diets, you know, to fit mostly his mostly so that he doesn't feel alone in the journey. So I read about everything, got advice from everyone, from doctors, make sure I follow him for his doctor appointments, which he hates because it makes him feel like I'm babying him. But oh my God, sometimes you have, you, you just have stubborn spouses. Like for a while, he treated the diagnosis like it didn't exist. There's a str there was a strong history of diabetes in my family. So I had seen how my mom was managing it. I'd seen how my sister was managing it. So when I got the diagnosis, I just cried out to them that, look, this is it. And they were like, okay, this is what you can do. This is what you can do. Now, I went for a second opinion, hoping that when I got diagnosed, you know, they were just telling stories. I went for a second opinion. And in fact, that they were more thorough in their... Um, with their tests and I had to now, you know, try to bring down my blood sugar level quickly because it was very high. We didn't even you know the doctor was like, they're still surprised I'm still standing that I could have actually collapsed with the type of blood, the type of figures they were getting from the region of my blood sugar. However, I now had to see a dietitian who now gave me one uh, what do you call it now schedule full time table you know kind of and with the kind of um menus i could eat what i shouldn't and then said let me have, what i shouldn't eat what quantities i should take and all that actually i think far back 20 2016 i I took care of uh, my late cousin. He suffered from diabetes too. So, what actually happened was that um, I was the one taking him up as I'm from home, hospital, this and that. So, unfortunately, he died in 2017. So, from there, I, I have to, I have to like pull more interest. I have to like pull more effort to know what more about diabetes and to know like what and what really is diabetic and how to like go about it and how to and i think since from then i've been very very cautious about to, things that i eat and like you know and so on so that it all sugar me i talk on to jerry be cool nick here today jerry be 
eni ti iru e ba sele si won ni won ma manage eni o o un kan ta nje senu wa especially e yi to ba ti need too much of sugar starch ngba ti yan je swallow ton o bere si ni gbe bia eni bia ato o gbe le lori indefinitely ko luwe o ma expect Diabetes at the end of the day, me. My name is Adrian. About two years ago, I went for a diabetic in a blood test, and uh, it was revealed that uh, my blood sugar count was actually high. I was then advised, you know, to change my eating eating habit, to change my diet. I stopped to the advice for about a year, and uh, I went back the following year to do another blood count and. Uh, I was actually surprised and you know pleased to say that um, my blood you know level was actually lower than what it was the previous year. Before I went for the test, you know, I actually suffered you know the symptoms you know of uh, pre-diabetes, and that is you know, a constant thirst, always wanting to go to the toilet all the time, always you know, craving uh, sugary stuff. And because, you know, the first blood test I did revealed that my blood sugar level uh, was high. It's a disease that can um, come from high level of sugar and it can be hereditary. Um, yeah, and um, it doesn't have a cure, but it can be reduced. Yes, I know about three or four people whom at some point they had um, like a wound on their legs and it was not healing at all. People that like have, it will link, most of the time, it will cause hypertension. It will lead swell or uh, uh, swelling of the body. And it will cause them weakness of the body as well. Most of the time, you see a diabetic patient, they'll find it difficult when they have little wound in their body. They find it difficult for the body to be healed easily. Yeah, some time ago, I lost a friend. He's a friend and he's a lecturer. The man that taught me in uh, Genesis 101, the man is very good in English. Very, very good. Genesis 101. He's, my, I, he's a man, uh, he's my church member, and he's a, he's a person that I, I love him. But God took him away because of a diabetes. He died as a result of a diabetes sickness. One in 10 adults worldwide have diabetes and over 90% have type 2 diabetes. Close to half are not yet diagnosed. In many cases, type 2 diabetes and its complications can be delayed or prevented by adopting and maintaining healthy habits. It is crucial to emphasize that diabetes can be managed and its complications can be avoided or delayed through proper treatments and regular screenings diet, physical activity, medication, and timely medical interventions and lots of awareness campaigns.